Welcome to School 2020. In this video, we will discuss the mitotic cell division and its significance based on Chapter 3. Mitosis In this process, eukaryotic divides into two identical daughter cells. The nucleus and chromosomes are divided only once and two identical daughter cells are produced with the same type of chromosomes in number, physical and structural features as their mother cell. Mitotic cell division is also known as equational division. It occurs in somatic cells of eukaryotic animals, in the body cells of animals and in the meristems of the plant parts growing such as the tip of stems and roots, plumule and radical, developing leaves and buds, etc. Interface The stage in the life cycle of a cell where the cell grows and DNA is replicated is known as interface. During interface, the cell grows and makes a copy of its DNA. During the mitotic phase, the cell separates its DNA into two sets and divides its cytoplasm, forming new cells. The important processes which occur in interphase are number 1. Replication of chromosomal DNA, synthesis of RNA and the basic nuclear proteins. Number 2. Synthesis of energy-rich compounds which provide energy for mitosis. And number three, in animal cells, division of the centriole. The stages of mitosis and cell division. There are five stages in mitosis cell division. The first one is prophase. Number 1. Prophase is the first stage of mitosis. At the onset of the stage, the nucleus becomes little larger and chromatin fibers start condensing into short, thick and tightly coiled structures called chromosomes. Here every chromosome divides into two sister chromatids. At the centromere they are remain attached. The next one is prometaphase. Prometaphase is the second phase of mitosis, the process that separates the duplicated genetic material carried in the nucleus of a parent cell into two identical daughter cells. During prometaphase, the physical barrier that encloses the nucleus, called the nuclear envelope, breaks down. The breakdown of the nuclear envelope frees the sister chromatids from the nucleus, which is necessary for separating the nuclear material into two cells. Another important event during prometaphase is the development of a protein formation called a kinetochore around the centromere, the central point joining the sister chromatids. Long protein filaments called kinetochore microtubules extend from poles on either end of the cell and attach to the kinetochores. Prometaphase is followed by the third phase of mitosis known as metaphase. And the third one is metaphase. Metaphase is the third phase of mitosis, the process that separates duplicated genetic material carried in the nucleus of a parent cell into two identical daughter cells. During metaphase, the cell's chromosomes align themselves in the middle of the cell through, the, through a type of cellular tug of war. The chromosomes which have been replicated and remain joined at a central point called the centromere are called sister chromatids. The fourth one is anaphase. Anaphase is the fourth phase of mitosis, the process that separates the duplicated genetic material carried in the nucleus of parent cell into two identical daughter cells. 
Before anaphase begins, the replicated chromosomes called sister chromatids are aligned at long the equator of the cell on the equatorial plane. The sister chromatids are pairs of identical copies of DNA joined at a point called the centromere. During anaphase, each pair of chromosomes is separated into two identical independent chromosomes. The chromosomes are separated by a structure called the mitotic spindle. The mitotic spindle is made of many long proteins called microtubules which are attached to a chromosome at one end and to the pole of a cell at the other end. The sister chromatids are separated simultaneously at their centromeres. The separated chromosomes are then pulled by the spindle to opposite poles of the cell. The last one is telophase. Telophase is the fifth and final phase of mitosis, the process that separates the duplicated genetic material carried in the nucleus of a parent cell into two identical daughter cells. Telophase begins once the replicated paired chromosomes have been separated and pulled to opposite sides or poles of the cell. During telophase, a nuclear membrane forms around each set of, D of chromosomes to separate the nuclear DNA from the cytoplasm. The chromosomes begin to uncoil, which makes them diffuse and less compact. Along with telophase, the cell undergoes a process called cytokinesis that gives the cytoplasm of the parental cell into two daughter cells. If you like our videos, please share, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel.